Brothers and sisters, this is Father Ramsin from St. Jude Maronite Church, West Covina. From the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke, who proclaimed life to the world, let us listen to the proclamation of life and salvation for our souls. Jesus replied to him, A man gave a great dinner to which he invited many. When the time for the dinner came, he sent his servant to say to those invited, Come, everything is ready. But one by one, they started to excuse themselves. The first said to him, I have purchased a land and must go to examine it. I ask you to consider me excused. And another said, I have purchased five yoke of oxen and on my way to evaluate them. I ask you to consider me excused. And another said, I have just married and therefore I cannot come. The servant went and reported this to his master. Then the master of the house, in a rage, commanded his servant, Go out quickly into the streets of the town and bring there the poor and the crippled, the blind and the lame. For I tell you, no one of those who were invited will taste my dinner. This is the truth. Peace be with you. The Gospel today continues the reflections around themes linked to the table and the invitation. Jesus tells the parable of the banquet. Many people has been invited. But the majority did not go. The master of the feast was indignant because of the absence of those who had been invited and then sent his servants to call the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. And even after that, there was still place. Then he ordered his servant to go and call everybody. The invitation remains, is not cancelled. This invitation characterized by the fraternity and then by the love and sharing. This is the same call of our Lord to his banquet, characterized by his love and his forgiveness, we are all invited today to share in his kingdom forever. Amen. Let us pray. God of power and mercy, only with your help can we offer you fitting service and praise. May we live the faith and profess and trust your promise of eternal life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.